everyone, welcome to English with Miss Dia. In this video, we are going to learn simple present tense. Simple present tense is one of the tenses in English used to tell general truth, facts, and routines or habits. To make it clearer, now let us see the following dialogue. Hooray! We finally arrive at the zoo. I'm really excited. Let's walk around and see the animals. Let's see the elephants over there. Elephants eat grass and plants. They use their long trunks to put food and water in their mouths. They have good memories. Let us move to see Tiger. Tiger has stripped coat to give it good camouflage when it hunts. It loves meat to eat. Now let's see the bear. Bears have thick fur coats to protect them from the cold. They have a good sense of smell. Some of them eat meat, and some of them eat honey. Let's move to the monkeys. Monkeys live in groups called troops. They eat plants, birds' eggs, small animals, and insects. I like to see the monkeys. In the previous dialogue, they are talking to each other about animals in the zoo. Elephants eat grass and plants. They use their long trunks to put food and water in their mouths. They have good memories. Bears have thick fur coats to protect them from the cold. Monkeys live in groups called troops. They eat plants, birds' eggs, small animals, and insects. I like to see the monkeys. Tiger has striped coat to give it good camouflage when it hunts. It loves meat to eat. All of those sentences are telling about general truth or fact. They use the same pattern. They will start with subject, followed by verb. The verb here is the verb one. There is also some verb that use S or ES object or adverb. This is the pattern of positive sentences in simple present tense. The other example can be, I like bananas. He likes bananas. She likes bananas. It likes bananas. You like bananas. They like bananas. And we like bananas. Do you see the differences between all of these sentences? For subject he, she, and it, three of them put s after the verb. So, special for subject he, she, it, we use s or es after the verb one. Jadi jelas ya, ketika subjeknya he, she, it, kita menambahkan s atau es di belakang kata kerja. As stated in the previous one, simple present tense is used to talk about general truth or fact, it also can be used to talk about habits or routines. Now let us see the following dialogue to see how simple present tense is used to talk about habits or routines. Sally, what do you do in the morning? I take a bath, then I help my mom prepare for breakfast. After that, I go to school. What does your brother do every morning? After he wakes up, he tidies up his bedroom. After that, he prepares to go to school. My brother and I always go to school together. We ride our bikes to school. In the previous dialogue, we can see that they are talking about Sally and her brother's routines or habits in the morning. Dalam dialog tadi, mereka berbincang-bincang tentang rutinitas atau kebiasaan yang dilakukan oleh Sally dan adiknya setiap pagi. She said, I take a bath, then I help my mom prepare for breakfast. After that, I go to school. After my brother wakes up, he tidies up his bedroom. After that, he prepares to go to school. My brother and I always go to school together. We ride our bikes to school. We already learned how to make positive sentences in simple present tense. And now, we are going to see how to make questions and negative sentences in simple present tense. To make it clearer, now let us see the following dialogue. Do you ride a bike to school? No, I don't. I don't have any bike. Does your mother drive you to school? 
No, she doesn't. Do you go by public transport? No, I don't. So, how do you go to school every day? I walk to school every day. It takes only 10 minutes. In the previous dialogue, we can see that to make questions and negative sentences, we use do or does. First, we are going to see how to make questions. First, we will see the yes-no questions. Kalimat tanya yang jawabannya ya atau tidak. From some examples in the dialogue, we can hear, Do you ride a bike to school? Does your mom drive you to school? Do you go by public transport? From all the three sentences here, we can see they have the same pattern. It all starts with do or does, continued by subject. Do is used for subject I, you, they, or we, while does is used for subject he, she, or it. After subject, we see verb 1. Remember, there is no more S or ES, followed by question mark. Second, we are going to see how to make WH questions, questions that has question word. Kalimat tanya yang menggunakan WH word atau kata tanya. In the previous dialogue, we can hear, how do you go to school? Actually, to make WH question, we use the same pattern, do or does, followed by subject, followed by verb 1, question mark. The difference is we put WH word or question word in the beginning of the sentence. Bedanya hanya kita menambahkan kata tanya di depannya. WH word or question word, we call it 5W and 1H. Who, what, when, where, why, or how. For example, we can say, what do you do every morning? How often does your brother play soccer? Where do elephants live? Now we will see how to make negative sentences. From the dialogue, we can see some example of negative sentences. I don't have any bike. My mother doesn't drive me to school. I don't go to school by public transport. From the three examples, we can see the same pattern. Start with subject, followed by do not or don't, or does not or doesn't. Do not is used for the subject I, you, they, or we, while does not or doesn't is used for subject he, she, or it. And then continued by verb 1. Now we will see the adverbs of time in simple present tense. Ada beberapa kata keterangan waktu yang biasanya menunjukkan bahwa kalimat itu adalah kalimat simple present tense. First, we use adverbs of frequency. Kata keterangan frekuensi biasanya dipakai untuk menjelaskan tentang habit, kebiasaan. It can be always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, or seldom. Adverbs of frequency is put after subject. For example, they always get to school on time. My family usually has dinner together. We often speak English to each other. The second adverb of time is used every, setiap. It can be every day, every week, every month, every year, every Saturday, etc. It is usually put at the end of sentences. For example, I drink milk every morning. He plays basketball every Sunday. The third adverb of time is the use of once, followed by duration. Dalam bahasa Indonesia berarti satu kali. For example, once a week, once a month, once a year, etc. It is put at the end of the sentences. For example, I visit my grandparents once a week. 
You can also use twice followed by duration. Dua kali. For example, twice a day, twice a month, twice a year, etc. Untuk keterangan frekuensi yang lebih dari dua, kita menggunakan times. Three times or four times followed by duration. For example, three times a day, four times a year, etc. We already see how to make positive, negative, and question for simple present tense. The question is, what if there is no verb in simple present tense sentences? We can also use what we call as nominal sentences. Kalimat yang tidak mengandung kata kerja disebut sebagai nominal sentences. Mari kita lihat contohnya. Elephants are the heaviest land animals. They are also intelligent and have good memories. Tigers are the biggest of all cats. Bear is large and powerful. The fur coat is thick to protect it from the cold. They are really cute. Monkeys are clever mammals that can solve problems. In a previous dialogue, we can see there are some examples of nominal sentences in simple present tense. Elephants are the heaviest land animals. They are also intelligent. Tigers are the biggest of all cats. Monkeys are clever mammals. They are really cute. Bear is large and powerful. The fur coat is thick. As we can see here, there is no verb in all of those sentences. Tidak ada kata kerja sama sekali. The heaviest land animal, they are noun. Clever mammals, they are also noun. While the others in pink color, they are all adjectives. The same pattern are used in all of those sentences. It start with subject, followed by to be, and is or are followed by non-verb. The non-verb here can be noun, adjective, or adverb. This is the pattern of nominal sentences for positive sentence. For example, I am a student. He is smart. She is from Medan. It is a colorful bag. You are the tallest boy in the class. They are in a hurry. We are creative. There are three to be that we use. M is used for subject I. Is is used for he, she, it. And R is used for you, they, we. Jadi penggunaan to be masing-masing berbeda tergantung subjeknya. Now to make negative sentences. To make positive sentence, we use this pattern. And to make a negative sentence is very simple by putting the word not after to be. Cukup meletakkan kata not setelah to be. For example, I am student. So, to make it negative, you just put the word not become I am not a student. He is not smart. She is not from Medan. It is not a colorful bag. You are not the tallest boy in the class. They are not in a hurry. We are not creative. Now we will see how to make questions in nominal sentences. To make positive sentence, we use this pattern. And to make a question is simply by exchanging the subject and to be. Cukup dengan menukar posisi subjek dan to be-nya. So the pattern becomes to be followed by subject followed by non-verb. Don't forget the question mark. For example, I am a student. So the question becomes, am I a student? Is he smart? Is she from Medan? Is it a colorful bag? Are you the tallest boy in the class? Are they in a hurry? Are we creative? This is the end of our video. If you have any question, please write in the comment. Thank you and see you on the next video.